teacher pricks. I am losing my motivation. I am tired. I am anxious. How do I find motivation again? Watch this video and learn how to do it. Coming up. Hey student, I am Teacher Pricks and I'm going to help you talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find something useful today. Now guys, losing motivation, feeling sad, feeling discouraged, down, well, this will happen to all of us, first and foremost, because we're humans. But that doesn't mean you have to feel that way all the time. There are things you can do, there are strategies you can follow to help you learn how to deal with those emotions. Now, tip number one, don't question your abilities all the time. If you're always questioning your ability to learn, what is that supposed to mean? Mm, I don't know if I can learn. Well, can I change? Oh, is it possible? I don't know. I'm not so smart. I don't have so much time. I'm a lost cause. But that's questioning. If you're always questioning yourself, it is very difficult to find the motivation to keep going because all your internal dialogue is very negative, very toxic. So you need to change the way you see yourself. This is really connected with self-esteem. If you're always questioning yourself in a negative way, it'll be very difficult to be motivated, okay? I'm not saying you cannot question yourself, but how about doing that in a more positive way? For example, what can I do this week to get better? Huh? What can I do this week to learn new and interesting words? What can I do this week to work on my pronunciation? To speak more clearly? Don't include negative words, okay? You're questioning yourself in a positive way to take action. What can I do differently this week to help me communicate more, to help me remember the words? That's a better and healthier way to ask questions. But never question your ability to learn. Am I capable? Can I do it? Can I change? You can. As Obama said, yes, we can. <laughs> I believe in you. But you got to start believing in yourself. That's very important if you want to find the motivation to keep going. Tip number two. If you are going through a moment when you feel stuck in a rut and, you know, nothing is happening and you're not motivated, it's important to chunk down the activities you need to do in English so that you can keep going. Because as I said, we're human beings and we're not always going to feel happy and excited. So in those moments when you're feeling down, <laughs> oh my God, it is important to reduce the number of things you need to do and make them smaller, shorter, so that it's easier for you to give a command to your brain to go and do it, okay? What I'm trying to say is simplify your routine when you're not feeling very excited, when you're feeling depressed or sad or anxious about your ability to learn or maybe that are other things happening in your life that are bringing you down and you don't feel motivated to study because you're having problems in your life or at work. The most important thing here is Make it simple, but keep going. If you stop completely, then it's very difficult to stay motivated because stopping will generate another very negative feeling. I didn't do it. Oh, I cannot even study for five minutes. I'm a disaster. I'm a failure. I can't even study for 10 minutes a day. So do a little, but keep doing. That's better than not doing anything at all because this will make you feel worse. This will make you feel guiltier, okay? That's why it is so important for students who study alone to follow a kind of plan, a kind of study plan. So if right now you're alone and maybe you don't have the budget to join an online program like mine, how about getting a study plan that will help you stay focused on your journey to fluency? I do have a 21-day study plan 
that you can replicate after that first plan is over. So if you want to learn more about it, click down below this video. There is uh, in the description, there is a link with more information. Tip number three is actually my favorite. <laughs> Set smaller goals, smaller weekly goals and reward yourself for your small victories. Maybe get your favorite ice cream. If by the end of seven days you did, you accomplished something, you were consistent, you did all your routine, you follow the plan, you follow the exercises, you learned something new and you found a way to use it. You practiced your English speaking and you feel good about it. Celebrate. Basically, guys, what I'm trying to do here is to raise your energy. When you move, you feel motivated, okay? So you need to move your body, reward yourself, review and remember what you did during the, the week connected with English that made you feel good. Oh, I learned a new word with teacher pricks. Oh, that's nice. Let me create an example. Oh, we did it. Yes. Give me a chocolate, you know? You don't need to give yourself food or something all the time, but maybe listening to your favorite song to celebrate. Okay, that's something you can do. Or maybe watching a cool movie or a cool video on the internet to celebrate. Maybe going for a walk, maybe telling a friend, maybe posting in the comments, teacher, I did it. And I'm gonna be like, yo, heart, awesome. This is a way to celebrate your small victories. Students often want to celebrate big wins. A big win, in my opinion, is the combination of small victories happening consistently throughout your journey. So if you wait to celebrate only the big win, well, that may take time. So how about celebrate the weekly small victories, the small changes you're making, the progress you're making every week? That will help you find the motivation, okay? So this is a uh, uh, motivation comes from action. The more action you take, the easier it is to feel motivated. We shouldn't always wait for motivation to come. It's the actions that we take every day that will help us move, keep going, even when the motivation doesn't come, when we don't feel like, ah, oh, today I don't feel like doing anything. We're gonna have many of those days. I just wanna lay in my bed. I just wanna stay in bed. I don't wanna get up. Don't feel like picking up the phone. I don't want to talk to anybody. So leave a message at the tone. I don't even want to read your WhatsApp messages. Because today I swear I'm not doing anything. So if you have, if you follow small actions, if you follow a good plan, and if you celebrate these small victories every week, it'll be easier for you to handle those days, the lazy day when you're feeling bad, when you're feeling lost, when you're feeling confused, because we all feel that way. The only difference is, for example, in my case, I have those days too, but the difference is that I know mechanisms. I follow these strategies that I am sharing with you, and I point it here because I have a piece of paper to help me remember the tips <laughs> so that I don't forget them, but I follow these ideas, I follow these strategies, so when I am feeling down, which I sometimes feel, I follow these recommendations. I celebrate my small victories. I do something fun and exciting to remind myself that it's so good to be alive and it's so good to know that I am making small progress every week. And tip number four, also one of my favorites. I love doing that. I love doing that in Italian. I love doing that in, 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 in English and in Portuguese as well. It depends on the problem, actually. <laughs> if you're feeling down, down, down and out, you're feeling sad and, I don't know, maybe angry or demotivated, watch inspirational videos in English. Huh? Here, of course, today's focus is English. So if you're feeling demotivated about your English, sometimes why not change the focus? Watch something inspirational in English. Uh, with my students in my academy, I think one of the challenges that I gave them was to watch inspirational videos in English. 
We were working on comprehension on English speaking because they had to talk about the video and an important message, a personal development message to help them be more focused, to help them organize their lives, to help them be more productive. So I like to combine emotion and language. So maybe if you're feeling bad today, why not watch a video where someone is going to inspire you, that is going to send you a message that is going to lift your spirits, you know, that is going to make you feel like, oh, I can change. I, I can feel better. I can change my life. Something that will give you some ideas that you get that will get your mind off the problem you're having right now. That is, that is nice. That is a good thing for you to do if you need to find the motivation to get back to your routine, to your study plan, and uh, in English because that way you are connecting English with something different, with something more meaningful. And if you're like, oh, but teacher, yeah, that's not my jam. I don't like doing that. That's not my kind of thing. What do you recommend? Well, the, the idea here is to be inspired. So maybe inspirational, emotional videos are not your thing. That's okay. I have friends who are like that. So what I noticed about them is that they also watch videos, but maybe they watch funny videos. Maybe they watch memes. Maybe they watch comedians. Laughing is so important. Smiling laughing when we're feeling sad when we're going through a difficult time can be so healing to us so if you're feeling demotivated how about watching something that will make you laugh maybe a comedy you know a comedy movie uh, that will be that, that is great or uh, maybe you can find uh, there is this guy i like to watch on youtube it's the channel's name is ben Talect. and basically he posts nothing useful okay nothing that will change your life but funny because he is hilarious okay and he posts very short videos every day or every week i don't i don't keep track and when i want to laugh literally when i want to have a good time and laugh i check his channel and i watch some silly videos and that makes me forget problems or forget things i need to do or change my perception of life Maybe you're so focused right now on what is wrong that you can't get out of it. So taking these breaks, watching an inspirational video or something funny, something, you know, interesting will help you smile again. You know, smiling is good for us. Maybe that's what you need to do more in a good way, in a positive way. So this would be a, a very important tip. Okay, guys. Now, getting motivated to study English is not always connected with studying more, okay? We need to understand what is happening behind that emotion. Do you feel like you're following the right plan, the right study plan? Do you feel like you're doing the right thing? Are you being consistent? Is something happening in your life? But even if you're not feeling motivated, there are strategies you can follow because no bad day lasts forever. You will change, you will get over this. And maybe you can't follow all the tips that I am recommending, but try to follow at least one and see what happens, okay? Life is good. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye!